Does your sim look like this? Do you have a lot of sceneries, whether it comes from Asobo, freeware websites like flightsim.to, or third-party payware? You'll most likely come across some conflicts, and I have the best free tool to find and resolve these issues. So stick around. Head over to Parallel42's website to download their sim installer. I'll put a direct link in the pinned comment below. It's a freeware utility for effortless installations and identification of add-on conflict. The first part is an installer. Very useful if you're downloading lots of content from flightsim.to. Normally you'd have to unzip the folder and then move the folder to your community folder or your add-on linker folder. In this case, no. It will automatically monitor your download folder and only extract Microsoft Flight Simulator content into your package destination and Microsoft Flight Simulator apps to the apps library. It's very easy to set up. Connect which download folder to monitor and where you want things to go, and presto. Do you use add-ons linker? You can add custom directories as bookmarks to swap package destinations quickly. What's even better is that any included add-on documentation will be a single click away. To go one step further, which brings us to the second role of the sim installer, is that it will automatically identify conflicts. You can click scan to manually scan your Microsoft Flight Simulator files for any potential conflicts. Those with a warning icon, there are three ways to deal with it. Ignore it as some overrides are totally correct and expected. Number two, notify the developer about those files by creating and exporting a report and sending it to them. I've had an issue in the past where I was getting purple spots around the Payware airport I was eventually able to find a file within Microsoft Flight Simulator and deleting it. Number three, uninstall it. If the marked files are causing issues, you can remove the offending package from your simulator. Next up, you'll want to check out this video on how to fix conflicts within your add-ons.